Hello all and welcome to another episode of Through the Rank series. And um, we are in Lamona as we have been for several fights now. And we are in the Vaza that we captured uh, in the last episode. Now uh, I don't know if I should. I don't remember whether I showed you or not. But when I, um, I'll go through the ship now. We got a fur frame mahogany planking breast refit ship. And the breast refit is. Is obviously a nice bonus however the fur mahogany planking is not going to be the best um i loaded her out with um medium cannons um maxed them out to 32s and 24s nine pounders um for the uh, for the uh broad sides and then nines on the bow and 32s on the stern uh port bonuses uh we do get hull one crew two and gunnery four which is going to be good um we have one uh books lock unlocked on the Vasa already so we're gonna take in see if I guess last lock and we do have one upgrade slot now with the frame and the uh, the fur or and the mahogany we're down to 92 on our side thickness so this is definitely going to be an angling episode and um i was wondering what episode uh, what upgrade to put on it not episode but upgrade and I was looking like, all right, Carter and a cocking refit and bring it to 99. We could do another um, floating battery for the one third, but uh, starting to use too many of those high end upgrades. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to go to, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? A bridge town refit. Uh, fairly common upgrade, uh, easy to get your hands on. It does reduce our speed by 2%. Uh, but it will increase all armor by 7%. So not thickness upgrade, but armor. So right now our sides is at uh, 18,500. And uh, yoink, so now 19 and uh, almost 1,800. So a little over, uh, around 1,200 in, uh, in uh, additional side armor there. So hopefully that will uh, help us in uh, when it comes to it. Crew, we're at 572, so we're getting slightly undercrewed compared to the Bologna that we're going to go fight, but it is what it is. Before we head out, though, how about we put on a bit of paint? Let's pop into our third rates, and the Bologna, but the Vasa, boink. So, right now you're looking at the standard paint, and we could go for the Bloody, which I really like. Um, as a trader, don't like that much, but it's basically camouflaged as a trader, uh, but still armed. Classic grey, actually looks pretty good. Like a yellow, no, don't like that. Um, chestnut white, oh, oh that's a check of yellow. Born home, it's pretty nice, especially if you're going piratey. Um, and combat cargo. Which is also fairly nice, but I think we're going to go with the bloody. Pop that on. Drag it out of the warehouse, into the paint slot. Boom. Now she's painted. So that's the loadout we're going with. Uh, checking that we have full crew, we do. And we put some upgrades. Yeah, put five cycles of uh, repair, some rum, and some uh, repairs on it. But we're good to leave the port and find ourselves a single bologna. All right, so no luck right out of the port. Uh, just a USS, that's not what we're looking for. Uh, we have seen uh, Bologna's before up here on this stretch here, down here, and sometimes across here at Macau. So I'll head up there and I'll bring you right back in once we find ourselves a Bologna. Oh, oh look. no, that's a big. Anyway, see you in a second. All right, welcome back in. Um, we're just a l almost in the middle of the Mona Passage up north, and uh, there are a few ships on the horizon. Um, I passed several Bologna plus five, plus ten, uh, even uh, Elite plus ten, 
Uh, it, it's not what we're going for. Um, however, we have come across a French Bologna Plus One. Um, so I'm kind of tempted uh, giving it a go instead of spending another hour searching around um, for a single. And I do think you guys will, at this point in the series, appreciate a bit more than a one we one challenge. So, why not? Let's go for it. If we get lucky, it's two Bologna's. Um, if we get unlucky, it'll be something else. We'll see. Um, we are going to be somewhat outclassed. Um, going into this especially with the build we have but we have the ability to run and repair so should have gone with um, the bra bravery perks um, for this one as we're coming in against multiple here um, but we didn't go start on the stun Yeah, two Bologna, so we can take one of them down and um, simply uh, concentrate on the other one. We'll probably go for Thomas, if we can slow him down with a bit of chains here, uh, and then pull away a Cronkite down. Your Cronkite, these names sometimes really get weird. But yeah, we'll, we'll probably slow down Thomas uh, if he sets sails quick enough. And then uh, we'll focus on his mate here. Let him set some sails. And that way, I'm going the other way. A bit higher, but still managed to pull him down to around 90. Both turning with wind. And on this ship, we don't have a full uh, complement of um, gun crew, even though that we have the gunnery pack. It's something to consider. And out ever so slightly before Nyort turns too much. Hits on the stun. Not to worry about that. It will bounce. It was stun as well. Going too far into it. Uh, Overturned just a bit there, so he actually managed to get some shots in. I don't hope I make too many of those mistakes because that's going to ruin our day then. Keep at an angle. Reloading chains here. Bouncing what's coming in from Thomas right now. Might be worth loading up and shooting into Nort here. They're both slowed down to about 90% now. Maybe we can reload and pull in front of York, give him another one in the lower sails, reduce him even further, come in behind Thomas and then um, give him a bad day.
and your is falling off. The sickness really isn't playing to my favors. Uh, good angle. It's not the best of angles to fire chains at, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Need to come around here and we'll have to initiate our first repairs already. all the way around just fine it's going to increase our angle on your so fine okay, he's stuck in the wind now gonna let us come in behind him Not a bad hit, took out 48 crew and uh, pump. And that as well. Alright, we're reloaded, so come around. Come around. <clears throat> now we do have change loaded on that starboard side. Change it up. We're going to be fighting out of range for a bit, so I'm still keeping that ball arm, even though I have double shot loaded. Probably just gonna dump the chains after Thomas and then reload up. Or we're gonna come in for another stone raid, that might also be an option. Probably even a better option because that will angle, angle us um, into some. Still going to go for Thomas, we've hit him already and we'll save New York later. Repairs are coming along. Um, if it will try this. i reload double before we get in behind Thomas. Our pump is down. I uh, don't care too much about that. going now all right managed to cheese him a bit double has been loaded I 
I have reduced my gun crew here just to get a few more on the sails because we're going to be need them for the turn here. Make sure we get in behind New York, uh, New York Thomas here, yeah, not New York. Um, that seems like the Bologna turns a bit better than the Vasa we're in. Are done. Counter turns now. Really good hit there. Not much in the way of crew damage, but when it comes to how much uh, structural damage we actually did to him, he's down to almost 60% now. in here, don't like it too much. Can turn out behind Nort, angle us away from Thomas for a bit. Our reload is actually up, so. Fire. Turn. Turn out before he reloads. Ah, uh, we Got hit by the full brawl time, more or less. This. I'm not going to get enough angle to really utilize our chains here, but we have them loaded and it's what we're going to get. Oversteered a bit. And a bit is. <laughs> Somewhat an understatement. Doing one, reload ball am, and let's come around and re engage. Massive leaks on our port side, massive damage as well. And away, reloading. Taking on two of them might have been a bad idea with, uh, <laughs> with this build, but. We've got another six minutes before we can get our repair up. Fine. See if we can come in behind Thomas again, give him another stone rate. Um, a bit more damage that way and get our port side away from their gun for a bit. Angle is decent right now. order is going to be shooting into a stern which might cause structural damage and a bit crew damage not taking down our side armor and uh thomas is such a steep angle he's just going to keep bouncing and we still got a bit of play um actually angling behind him if he slows down should be good come in behind him first give him the, uh, the round shot and then we should be able to do a hard starboard turn and come in behind him again, give him the doubles. That's my hope anyway. And we are pulling somewhat away from York right now. Wondering whether we're going just slightly too fast here. The power. Coming in point blank. Go 
your hit to get the pump below 50%. How would it take out a bit of crew there? At the same time, we took a pretty decent hit as well. Uh, it's what it is. Come around. I'm going to slow down and come in behind him. Give him the double shot. Oh, it's done. And we might have to like take Thomas down and then run for a bit just to get our repairs back up before we take on York. We don't have ten cycles. Uh, we only have five cycles or four remaining. Taking structural damage right now because he's firing into a completely destroyed bow. Big one. We are getting wrecked right now. Hopefully, that will be a good one. Only get a bit more forward momentum going. For it, wait for it, wait for it. Not bad, rudder and pump is done. May be able to if we slow down here we may be able to get another shot up this done come around because he's forced into that turn now because of that damage um, rudder there may be able to get up behind him another one minute 40 we can repair we can't go much closer to the wind right now he's got rudder control again almost reloaded Going by. Might be somewhat of an angle, but we'll get in. Not the best of hits. Nonetheless, let's run for a bit. Get a cycle of repairs. Don't need that much more dam damage done to Thomas. Take him down. And we're unloaded there. Don't fancy turning into him just now. It'll expose us. Um, five and four. Get the rudder and the pump back up. Really? How the hell did that shot? We may be able to turn out and do a long range shot into his stern. Bit of an odd angle. And a bit of a waste on double, I know, but it wasn't fully reloaded. Five and a one. I've had a lot of questions uh, again about how to disable guns and enable and disable decks. Now, F1 to 4, disable them deck by deck. F1 top. Uh, F1 for the top, uh, F2 for the next one, F3 for the lower in this case. If you had a four stack, it would be F4. And F5 simply to enable and disable uh, reload on the deck. 
we're going full speed, pull away from them while we repair up. And we're down by 100 crew, so... I am... T oh, more than 100, actually, so I am tempted to... Use a cycle run. Just to have a bit more crew to play with. It will be some time before we get into the boarding action, anyway. Um... I do also prefer to have it ready for when we get into a boarding action. Um, as it has a, uh, is it 20 or 25 minute, uh, yeah, 25 minute cooldown. I will run it now and we'll see, uh, we need it when we get to the, uh, actual boarding situation. Going back down to battle sales, don't want to stray too far ahead of them. Just want to keep ahead so much that they are chasing me in a more or less direct line and not necessarily pull several miles ahead of them. You'll need to turn and get back into them. And then, don't want the video, the video to be several hours long. So, repairs are well underway. Going down to battle sales again. Njort has fallen back in behind Thomas. Uh, which makes it a bit easier to turn and engage uh, Thomas uh, once we're actually done repairing. We've done one cycle now. I'm tempted to stay ahead of them and do another. We'll put ourselves at an angle here, let them catch up a bit. Hopefully it will be just Thomas within range um, and that way we can disable him first maybe maybe not I'll probably stay at range for a, another eight and a half minutes do another cycle repair before we close in so range and shot So I am so used to the longs that the trajectory of the mediums are throwing me off here. And this is not going to be effective fire, just a bit of balloon shooting. As I'm going to be reloading several times before they get to me anyway. Chase the fire coming in. We want to wreck Thomas first. We want Thomas out of the way so we can maneuver a bit more freely around Njord um, to take him on. And he's completely undamaged except for the 82%. Uh, he's uh, down to uh, in his sail, so. He's starting to put, push up on Thomas. Thomas has fallen behind. Ranging. Which is good. Alright, not too bad to get this pump. I wonder why he's slowing down though. It's somewhat annoying. Njord is going to come in and fire, but that's going to burn him up the wind as well. 
Wow, that it all penetrated. Wow. Several bounces. Up for Steve Angle, I'm way losing speed now. Right, around. Hopefully, we'll get a turn in before New York reloads too much. Oh, and now it'll be a very bad time. You can turn here and force Thomas into a turn and New York chases. Um, still up. Really too far into that turn to be effective. My God, I hate this build. <laughs> uh, Fur mahogany here. Yeah, it's not. It's not really good for a combat vessel, is it? Um, right, coming around. Thomas is closing in. Look at damage pump. See if we can get him in the nose here. A pretty good hit on the nose. He's not far from sinking. He is taking it on a bit of water with the uh, pump being damaged. We're not going to be able to turn and come in behind him. That was fine. Both sides right now, and I'm really liking that. Luckily, he missed. Good amount of hits on Thomas. Oh, blimey. What angle is he going to turn to to shoot? I'm trying to get flat on. Turn sharply here. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Matt managed to make him miss several shots. Um, Thomas, however, is going to be reloaded fairly soon. About an angle for now. So, he's still penetrating. Ah. Ah. One of the last ones. Wow. What we are. I'm not screwed. Won't be a good hit. Uh, was a good hit, but. Not enough structural damage to really count. Right now we're gonna run really. Well. We have no choice but run, run, run. Oh, 
All right, I need to keep afloat for another minute and 15 and start repairing up. But it's like whatever angle they're firing at, they are hitting and penetrating. So we're kind of screwed. All right, can we keep afloat for another minute without losing all of our structure? I'm not sure we can. I am, however, surprised that we're not taking on water. We have lost all our speed, though. I'm <laughs> very surprised, surprised we're not taking on water. Good. Good. No. We're more or less dead in the water. Thomas is not firing at us, so we can try and angle a bit to port. Seven seconds, come on. Oh, we're slowly taking on water now. And we're completely dead in the water, down to 1.1 knot. Um, <laughs> we do have a repair going, but in about 30 seconds, they're both going to be flat on our sides and we're just going to get pulverized here. So taking on two in the firm mahogany is not the best of ideas. Uh, have we taken on just a single? Um, if I could have found one, um, I'm pretty sure we would have made it, but... We're back down to hunting a new Vasa. That is what it is. And there comes the broadside from your... Maybe able to get a pure victory here if we can actually manage to... Not a victory, but even and out a bit. If Thomas just comes a bit more forward, maybe able to just apply enough damage um, for him to actually go down range on oh, not enough penetrations here comes another round of five in your but it's going to be at an angle that's fine, we're gaining speed again. And we're <laughs> That broadside in from Tumble is going to finish this off. Not going to survive this. We may... May, may, may... May yet get another broadside in. Maybe even tipping over. He's so damn close. Um... Slow down, Klaus. We are still afloat. For now. Fire. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Just need the last ones to reload. Come on. Oh, we're going down. We are going down, I know that. But oh, I really want to pull Thomas down as well. And go down, are we? We're flat on. He's flat on. He's going to shoot us out of the water. We are shot out of the water. Before he sinks, we will sink. Our repairs are done. Um, why are my repairs not coming? Oh, reload not coming back up. Everyone's in survival right now. Thomas is going down, but we will be stuck in a minute. Um, at least you're not making it back to port, are you? Oh, my lower deck has been disabled because we're so low in the water. We're sunk. Bye, Thomas. Um, see. 
I can't check him now that I'm sunk. That's annoying. I was just wondering whether we could actually stay long enough for him to go under. Because he is really, really damaged. Uh, moving, he's taking on water. Not low on the water line. I'm not sure with the battle being over, I don't think any effects apply anymore. Uh, Alright. Well. <laughs> go back to it. And, um. Yeah. Not the Vasa for this kind of task. Um, and probably not the captain either. So, another failure. Um, time to capture another uh, Vasa here. And uh, we did get this one a bit on the cheap side with the help from the Santi, so. Um, no biggie. I'll go find us a new Vasa, and I'll come in. Uh, I'll come back to you in the uh, next episode. Also, before we move on, I hope you've been sticking around until this point, because I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Once we manage to get the Bologna, there are a few more third rates in the list. However, um, the Implacable and the uh, ADR, the Admiral de Reuter is event ships only so we're gonna they are gonna be harder to find than just the usual fights uh we're trying to pick so and i don't know when there will be a new uh event maybe even with implacables and uh, uh adrs going around but my question is should we just Either put the series on hold until there's an event and we get the ADR in, or should we just progress, meaning that we go from the Bologna straight to the um, St. Pavel? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below on this video, and I'll see you in the next one for, um, for uh, a new Vasa taking on a Bologna, or maybe even two. Until then, stay safe.